What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Here's an ASMR sip. Zevia cream soda, highly recommend. And check out elevatealternativemedicine.com. This is my TRT clinic. So you can DM me on Instagram at Russo Lifts for the full list of products available, or you can just fill out a contact request and go from there. Absolutely free, no money taken, unless you decide to sign up after your free consultation with a licensed PA. Today's topic is a coach's rant. So yeah. I am pretty well versed in this because I just got my coach. If you haven't seen my coach, I'll have Andrew put a card up here that is the coach reveal. So I'm with Alec Matrivsky. He's gonna be my coach for this classic physique prep and you will see the prep content heating up in these next coming weeks. I'm gonna be going over my diet and then we are going to be doing a podcast with Alec as well that will be regularly and weekly, once a week, every Sunday is what we're aiming for. So subscribe with the bell on and click all, otherwise you will not get the notifications from this channel at all. And even if you do all that, you might not. But basically, you know, searching around for a coach, you know, I really wanted to try Vigorous Steve first. Vigorous Steve is now associated social media influencer. He doesn't want to coach no more, completely understandable. And then if I didn't have Alec, that would leave me on the open market. So I had two options. Luckily, Alec took me on and me and Alec are longtime friends. He had open slots, et cetera, et cetera. If I didn't have Alec, then I would be, <clears throat> you know, looking in the open for a coach. And I did talk to Derek, more plates, more dates. I'm like, yo, you know, Vigor Steve doesn't want to do me. I want to do the best prep content possible. Who do you think I should go with? Now, obviously, you know, Alec is what everyone decided on. And I think Alec is obviously the best option, but you know, he's unknown, right? I wouldn't have found Alec unless I've been in the, you know, the underground sphere of biohackers for this long. Me and Alec have been friends for a long time and I just know how knowledgeable he is, right? Alec hasn't really advertised himself. If I were to look at, you know, one of these top tier coaches, you know, when I go on Instagram and people put team this, team that, one of the top IFBB coaches, like if I were to go and approach one of them, they would of course want to take me on, right? I got the social media, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, since I'm not, you know, a top pro already, and I'm just, you know, an amateur, right? I'm not even competed before. I have zero shows under my belt and no experience, right? Do you really think they're gonna give me the amount of attention I need to progress to be my 1v1 coach for the amount of money I give them? No, right? This is what people need to understand. With one of these big coaches, they're gonna take you on, right? So I have like the clout from you guys and everything. Might be a tad different for me, but let, let's just put yourself in like, all my social media got deleted. I'm just looking for a really good coach. I'm really aspiring to become a pro and or at least try to become a pro. And like, I want the best coaching. I want like, you know, the coach to care about me. I want some significant time and I'm willing to spend a decent amount. Okay, I'll say that, you know, contest prep is very expensive, but I'll say you have all the money allocated to size to compete correctly in parentheses, right? Basically with these top pro coaches, right? They're gonna take you on, they're gonna blow smoke up your ass, and you're just gonna become a cash slave for them, right? That's what is happening to all these, you know, guys who are trying to climb the ranks competing, especially without the assets, right? If they're trying to build themselves as a brand while they're competing, you know, they're lower in the ranks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They gotta get with a top coach, they're looking at the coach who has all the top pros. They're like thinking, oh, he's probably super limited with his time. I'm gonna just try and get him anyways and see where that goes. Oh, he can take me on. You know, I'm gonna be fast tracked to the top. I'm gonna turn pro so quickly. When in reality, right, I think they'll just do your check-ins. They'll do a basic cookie cutter diet and they you might get some attention during peak week but as far as what you're paying for the amount you're paying for for that type of coach 
you're not getting your money's worth, right? You're not getting your money's worth and it's just, you will become a cash slave to them and they will mostly only focus on their top pros, right? See, with me, with the amount of time as a high output entrepreneur, I only have so much time. And when I see like people like Vigorous Steve, or when I even did like pay to ask me a question, when I did pay to ask me a question, I would get like, 20 to 40 50 questions and i would sit there for my whole morning and i'm an it nerd right i type super fast i knew all the answers now imagine you're a top pro coach and you got over 50 clients it's just not possible it's just not possible it's not theoretically feasible but obviously the coach wants to make the most money possible right he's going to take the most amount of clients and you know you can kind of cookie cutter things if you want to scale it like that right or you see the coaches charge a ridiculous amount of money for a show like 10 grand and then you're priced out that's their two options so most of them go with Oh, I'm gonna take as many people on. I will focus on my top pros. I will give them my attention. Everyone else, you know, they might get a text or two. You know, I'll tweet their check-ins. I'll tweet their diet a little bit. That doesn't take that long. My whole Sunday, I'm just tweaking check-ins. And then, you know, they might tweak the cycle as it goes on. But when it comes to what a coach should really be there for, you should always be able to contact your coach and get an actual real back and forth. If you have questions, you shouldn't have to wait for peak week or or have to pay an extreme amount of money to have 1v1 time. Like the whole point of a coach is to have a high knowledge mind that is right there all the time with you as you're in the death zone prepping to 6% body fat. Because once you get below 10%, your mind's gonna start going crazy. You're gonna start starving. It's gonna be hell. That's where that coach comes in. He keeps you straight on, he keeps you dead on, he keeps you realistic, and he's there for you. The mind is there for you while you cut you know into that darkness right because shredding to the point of actual stage conditioning is extremely mentally difficult this is why i will never coach myself through any of these preps i will always have someone you know a different person giving me insight because i they're not dieting while i'm dieting they're not losing their mind while i'm losing my mind dieting that's what you're paying them for you're not paying them just to tweak a check-in photo right that's just my two cents right i see the amount some of you guys pay for these coaches and then i see the level of attention they give you and you're just not getting your money's worth and you're tricked into the allure because he has these top rows, because, you know, he turned so many people pro and now he's high up, he's a fat cat. He already has his top pros. He already has a name for himself. All the clients are gonna flood in like crazy. You're really not getting the type of attention either he did with his first people he turned pro or he only takes top pros now. And like Alex said in the podcast, right? It's not impressive in my opinion from a biohacking standpoint. For example, if you take someone like if Phil Heath switches coaches, right? Phil Heath switches coaches. He was already on point his whole bodybuilding career, right? You're just in the autopilot seat with him. He knows what to do. You know, you might make your own little tweaks, have your own little biohacking theories that you implement on him, but he's already Phil Heath. When you turn a nobody into somebody, that says something about your biohacking knowledge. That says something about your ability to diet someone, your ability to peak someone correctly, and your ability to get them to 6% body fat before, you know, stage day. Actually have them have shredded glutes, actually not have to use diuretics, actually not have to do like the fancy carb load bullshit. You have them ready before the show day and then their conditioning is there. Like if you do that and you progress a physique into pro over time and they start it from nothing, that says way more to me personally as a biohacker than someone who either turned a couple people pro and now like collected a bunch of pros under his belt and then you know just coasting off of that while all these little guys who are trying to build their names in the competition ranks and you know it's definitely a financial strain for them to even hire them in the first place because you know, as you become a bigger name, you charge bigger rates. These people are alert into that they're gonna get the attention that, you know, you're giving to your top pros, which is really all you care about because that's your status. That's just not what you're not getting your money's worth, right? And that's that's my rant. I just, I hate 
seeing that on top of how dumb some of these coaches are right i'll see cycles that make no sense i'll see like health advice that makes no sense i'm not even getting into that right i'm just getting into the allure of trying to get one of these top coaches being on the team of this top coach really you're not getting the attention you should be in my opinion for the amount you're paying and you could probably progress with a less known coach who has more biohacking knowledge maybe didn't turn anyone pro yet but if he sees potential in you and the coach is actually a legit coach and he turns you from a nobody into somebody as far as physique is concerned right if he turns you from an amateur to a competing pro that can hold his own on stage as a pro you turned a nobody physique into a somebody physique that coach building his name is going to give you way more attention going to be there way more for you mentally in the prep than someone who is already this top tier coach who is just cash cowing every everyone coming to him because he has the allure of having these pros. I want to be a top tier pro. I go to him. Not necessarily how it works, although it looks like it works like that from the outside. My two cents. And that's why I went with Alec. I could have probably got the attention of a more top tier coach. Probably not as smart as Alec, to be honest, but has a bigger resume. Turn way more people pro, turn way more people pro and has way more pros under his belt than Alec. That's not what I want in a coach, right? What I want in a coach is someone to mentally be there for me, make the tweaks every day. If I have a question every day, I texted Alec right before this video. Boom, I get a hit back, right? I'm not texting, oh, I'm feeling sick and lethargic, blah, blah, blah. Can we change something? And then waiting a day or two for a reply. All the variables could have changed by then and you are paying an extreme amount of money to get that little bit of attention that's not what a coach is there for in my opinion and i see a lot of you guys fall in that trap i know it's very difficult to find a really good coach and that oh russo shut the fuck up you're super well connected and like you know you you know everyone and that that's why you know you got alec nope I found Alec because I dug around. There are a couple other really good coaches that are not known. I dug around with them as well. You can find them. You just can't fall in the allure of these coaches that have pros under their belt that are doing cookie cutter, you know, super scaled client scheme to make a killing, right? You're not going to get the attention you want. I want to see everyone progress, especially if you get a coach. Make sure you have a coach that is giving you adequate time and don't just keep your eyes on the the top pros he's currently coaching because you best believe they get priority right i have you know modified cars you know my car tuner gives me way more priority over you know a random customer that comes in because he did projects with me right he built really cool projects with me my cars get to go in there if i have a problem with one of my cars he sees it right away if someone off the street wants you know to build a car he's gonna wait list them put them on the schedule and he's gonna do it on his own time that is exactly what happens in this coaching industry as well and it's it's sad when i see a person with extreme ambition and the will to achieve but you know you get followed in the allure of hiring one of these coaches and they might burn out your passion right the whole point of the coach in my opinion i've been a three sport athlete all my life right i've had so many coaches my favorite coaches are the ones that actually build a legitimate coaching relationship with you right when you become the padawan they're the fucking jedi right if you don't have that type of connection with your coach, what the fuck are you really paying for? My two cents, because it's much more than just getting, you know, your stupid macros tweaked or your steroid cycle tweaked or your SARM cycle tweaked or your like something in your training tweaked. It's about the day in, day in check in, the reassurement, the mental stability of as you're super dieted down, going crazy. They are right with you, right? They are right with you calming you down, keeping you focused, keeping you realigned, and making the tweaks daily. That's what coaching is about. Don't fall in the trap. I'll see you guys in my next one.